G'day guys, Aussie Reptiles here, or Drake from Aussie Reptiles, spending an hour, I say it, it changes all the time, but anyway, in today's video I'm doing a quick look at some of our new setups for some skinks we're picking up, um, so we've got some, uh, some panther skinks or leopard skinks um, and some Riga skinks coming as well so you've already seen the video on this tank but we're going to flip around and have a look there we've got our adult panther skink tank and to the side of me here we've got our Riga skink tank so let's take a closer look okay so this is the baby panther skink tank i'm hoping that it's large enough um, for the quantity of them otherwise i do have a couple extras uh, which I can set up and split them up, uh, which will probably have to happen until they're large enough to move in with the in the larger enclosure with the other adults. Um, but for now, this is where they'll be. So this is their crib. Again, you've seen in the video, I did steal one of the Spinifex grasses out of there. Um, so they've obviously got their little burrows made with the cups. So that's nice and cool. UV lights on because they're getting picked up tomorrow. Uh, so we'll also continue this video on tomorrow when we go pick them up and introduce them. Heat lights off because the thermostat has it to temp. So that's them. Okay, then next we move on to the adult tank. So UV uh, on, kind of pointless running it right now because they're not in there, but UV on and they have a radiant heat light, uh, which I believe is just turned off. So the hotspot, well, this probe here is reading at 35 and then it's uh, 28 at the cool end with this probe that's hidden back there. And the actual thermostat probe is reading at 40. It's obviously directly underneath. So the hotspot will move that off to the side a little bit. But anyway, their hotspot's going to be around 40 degrees with the cool end being between 28 and 30. Um, so they've got a nice universal rock. Um, this is their nice basking spot. Obviously a bunch of, I mean, there's some real or dead grass, which makes it look like spin effects. Back there, there's one of the, the Reptile 1 ones, which I stole from the juveniles. Um, and then they've got a hide. So this is a really good um, hide. Uh, don't know the brand, but anyway, there's an access point there and an access point at the back. Um, but this is a really big hide. It actually takes up like a half of that enclosure. Uh, and then we've got a few other dead spindly bits as well to create more sort of dead spin effects looking this so this is their enclosure it looks a bit smaller in Canada but this is a three by two by two enclosure and uh, this will be perfect for them so we'll get the glass doors shut so that's them alrighty so this is the Riga skink so they've got a nice 40 degree hot spot and the cool end again around the 30 mark and they have a couple hides which they can actually so wear them lighting up so there's a hide under there is a hide and under there is a hide all caves that have been buried under this one is actually a considerably amount I didn't get that. oh Could go away again? that hide under there is a considerable deep hide um the others are obviously just the small exoterra hides but that one that's a really nice deep hide oh my gosh go to bed google look at that that was your reptiles <laughs> um, anyway, so this is their setup. Uh, this is a 60 centimeter by 45 centimeter by 30 um, Exoterra. Again, new V light, heat light, and uh, they've got an infrared on this one. And uh, yeah, that is their setup. So that's going to be the last portion, uh, last portion of this half of the video. Um, however, uh, obviously we'll pick it up tomorrow when we're actually on our way to the airport to pick up these beautiful skinks uh, and when we then release them. So we'll see how that goes and uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, update. Jads and I are just on the way to the airport. Not really, we've stopped to get some Maccas for lunch first. But we're going to start driving to the airport to pick up our new skinks. So we'll uh, pick it up again once we are there. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good. Alright, update. Jads is holding the box. You can show them. So we've picked up our skinks now. Unlike the last video where we sort of got one of them out. Uh, we certainly won't be doing that in this one because... And like a blue tongue, obviously the little skinks, you don't want them getting out of the car because they'll be a struggle to find. Sorry, it's bouncing around a little bit, but uh, we'll pick up again once we get home and actually show you the new additions to the family. So we'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I apologize for the glare. We've just got home, opened them up and had a quick look. So here is a couple of the adult panther skinks. We'll get some better shots of them hopefully in the enclosure. 
Here is a bunch of the juvenile panther skinks. And here's another adult. And then somewhere in here, here we go. There was our Regus or Regal skinks, Regal striped skinks, I think they are. There's a third in there. Pretty cool. And then just a whole bunch of extra babies. Pretty sizey. All right, let's get them into their enclosures. Alrighty, so here we have our first Regus. We're going to add. Um, be interesting to see in what direction he goes in and hopefully not straight out the door. So let's remove some of the spag. Tip him. Oh, look at that. Oh, straight up. Interesting. And we've got a group of three. Not too sure on the ratio, but three of them anyhow. Oop. There we go. That's a nice shot there. Very cool. And... He's just, he's just lazy. Look at this one. Look at that. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of glare. Not much you can do there. There we go. Sick. Cool. That is our Regus striped, or Regal striped skinks. So this is their enclosure. There's the trio of them. And uh, cool. Okay, our adult group is now in their enclosure. We've got one there, two there, and the fourth one kind of just ran straight to the back, so I'm not 100% too sure where exactly it is, but uh, it's in there somewhere. Okay, guys, so this is our little pantherous skink tank. There is four in here, as you can see. There's a couple running off. Um, it'd be nice if the light turned on, but there's a few in here. Now, these were the four smallest. We've actually released two of the largest small, uh, largest juveniles in here with the adults. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Now they certainly won't get eaten, but we will have to keep an eye on them and see how they go attitude wise. Maybe these are some young males, which certainly then won't get along with the adult males. So I'll see how behavioral cues go and if we're maybe gonna have to then separate these couple juveniles or young ones. So we'll see how that goes, but uh, hopefully it should be right. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I'm gonna leave you guys now with some B-roll footage of the Skinks exploring their setups.